In the last 12, 18 hours since this case was first reported mm. and Sanaga's picture was out there for the first time, have you had any contact from men who think they might have been a victim of his? Yeah, very much so. So, dear, I know that uh, I was speaking to some of my colleagues over at the police incident room uh, and that police incident room has had uh, both contact to the police and also to the support workers that are there. Do you, know, really do you know how many calls? Uh, I think last time when I spoke to them, there was around about 30 calls yesterday. Wow. And the but police did say there, were, there will be men out there who, who they haven't been able to contact, they haven't been able to identify. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not just those men that we can't identify. It's also this story. This is a story of the biggest rape case in British legal history. Uh, the very fact that I'm sat here in studios in Manchester talking to you and talking to everybody else and all the other press that we've been doing over the past two days, it generates a conversation within the country. We saw this when we worked on the Coronation Street David Platt rape storyline. It generates the ability to talk about this subject, something that we don't do enough of. I know back in the office, back in my office, that there's people ringing up who are not directly affected by this particular case, but are people who have been sexually assaulted, maybe even in childhood, that are now feeling like the time is right to step forward and talk.